God for giving me a voice to voice my poetry. I guess he knew that my hands would never be able to keep up with the words in my mouth then. My boyfriend is amazed at how my mouth can make our heads come together, and sometimes my brain almost feels like I can digest his point. Point blank, I don't play games. But sometimes I wish I lived in Monopoly, because in Monopoly I can push my rolls on the boardwalk and with just one roll buy up some property. But in reality, my Monopoly money can't even fill my Toyota with gas. And while I'm filling my car with gas, I think about the little girl playing a game called Life in a country as dangerous as Jumanji, and she has no chance to pass go to collect $200, so she does the only thing she can and sells the property to the dog just so the hat can sell her some food, because her simple body could sure use some more iron, and she hates the community sharing her chest, but she must silence this rumbling in her stomach like the rumbling of my engine now that my tank is full of gas that we went to war for, right? You tell me, because I don't even know where Iraq is on the map. I just know it isn't close to me, and yes, you are getting a little too close to me. Don't come near my mind, because if I left you near my mind, there's no telling what types of things you would try to convince me of. I'd probably go with Kanye and his spaceship, because I've always never wanted to be an astronaut. But you'd probably tell me that I could, because I got a fair chance at life. And no matter how many times you looked up at the moon, you could never touch it, because the ghetto just doesn't manufacture astronauts. And yeah. that's why I can ne never let any earthling aliens invade my mind. My mind is sometimes in its own world. And that's why 95 is not just a road, but a speed limit, because in my mind, I'm a safe driver, but even being safe can get you infected, and I gotta keep my mind from getting injected with that shit you talk, because it could get flooded into my cerebellum and start throwing off my medulla oblongata. Man, I gotta figure out what I'm writing about before my mind isn't a child anymore, because we all know that growing up can really mess up your mind, <laughs> and my poem is beginning to make some sense, but sense won't get me very far in this country. All that matters is paper, and no, not the monopoly kind, and I don't mess with the kind that can get me in trouble with the copley kind, and yes, I'm white, but I don't have a flat behind, and behind door number one is me with the gun holding it up to my head, because it's the only way to protect my thoughts, and door number two shows me looking at you like, I'm ready to fight you, but I learned long ago that I am not a fighter, and I refuse to let you have me, so I guess I'm not a lover, well damn, I must be a writer, because door number three shows me, and poetry, and I gotta choose three, because I know that my pen has a purpose, and God knows I have a purpose, and I don't use his name lightly, because he is the one who chooses to enlighten me. And when I see, and I am more than blessed, and when I see bumper stickers that tell God to bless America, I think, damn, America must be blind because God has blessed America, and I refuse to let America try to persuade my mind to believe differently because we live very differently than we, the people living off of less than a dollar a day, and we live very differently than we should when the amount of money we spent on ice cream could end world hunger, but my feet are hungering for some ice cream, and my neck is begging me for some more ice, and my ass keeps begging me for some baby fat jeans. Someone please hook me up to my Jesus I be because I am dying inside. He is the only one who can revive me inside of my heart a thousand more times because he is my everlasting father, and he is helping me cope with my birth father, who is trying to cope with my boyfriend, who is trying to cope with making money without having himself dope, and I don't need drugs to be dope because I'm naturally a little bit dopey, and I usually stay pretty happy, and I hate to be sleeping, I'm never bashful. I'm kind of dopey at the fact of being pressured to be a doc, and the first doctor in my family, I just might be, and that PhD is poetry.